This is a rather advanced video on automation within Audition Mixes. To follow along where we are, you have to first watch the video on busing and sending. If you haven't watched the video on busing and sending, you're going to have grave difficulty in following along what I'm doing. So you have to go back, watch the busing and sending video first. If you haven't done so, please do so now. So those of you that have watched the busing and sending video, this is the same session as where we finished off on that one with Miranda's Shark Tank Pub session with all the voices going into bus A, bus A going to the master output and a parallel from bus A going into bus B that has the effects, uh, the echo and the filter on the echoes only uh, that's in parallel to the main voice. Something we can do in Audition that I haven't necessarily talked about in class is full automation. To get into that, you have to find the track you want to automate. You can automate all tracks and you can automate everything within a track. So you have to expand it until you get the read box showing up. Five modes of automation, off, which is no automation, read, following in what you've written, write, latch, and touch. And I'll get to those in a minute. First thing you have to do is expand the read box to show envelopes. In this case, the first thing we're showing is volume. But as we go in and look at things, you can have envelopes for mute, pan, track EQ, every available part within the track EQ. I can automate the rack input if I wanted to. I can automate anything within Audition. I can automate all the parameters within the delay. But the first thing we're going to do is do modify the envelopes for volume. Now, you already know how to click on this and draw in, bend the envelope like a little rubber band, but we can do it automatically within Audition by changing the read mode to write mode. Now what happens in Audition when I go to the mixer, every move I make with this fader will get recorded. So even in play mode, as I play it back, I can write automation on the volume envelope. Things you could be doing Thursday night. Sitting at home with little faces drawn on your fingers, pretending you're having the most fabulous of all parties. Or you could head on down to the Shark Tank pub for the LED club night, where you could enjoy the light shows, colors, and the special effects while dancing to music and winning prizes throughout the night. Doors open at 9 p.m., so be sure to get there early. Shark Tank events are restricted to Loyalist students and signed-in guests. For admittance policies, go to loyaliststudents.com. Okay, so if I go back, you can see every move I made it with that fader, it followed and wrote in the automation. When you write something, it automatically then goes into touch mode. So touch mode, if I would play it now and touch the fader to move it, it will make that move and then jump back as soon as I release the fader into what I've previously written. So watch this. Things you could be doing Thursday night. Sitting at home with little faces drawn on your fingers, pretending you're having the most fabulous of all parties. Or you could head on down to the Shark Tank pub for the LED club night, where you could enjoy the... So the two times I grabbed it, you can see it wrote in that extra volume dip, and when I released it, it went back to where it was in the right mode. So that's how you can automate all your volume moves. Now, let's bring in the rack input and, mod and modify the effect. Okay, so let's expand this even more. Things you could be doing Thursday night. Sitting at home with little faces drawn on your fingers, pretending... So wherever I hear a good line to add that effect, I'm just going to bring the, turn the input to the rack back on. A little face is drawn on your fingers, pretending you're having, having the, the most, most fabulous, fabulous of all parties. parties. Yeah, bring that down a little bit, it's a little too much. Fingers, pretending you're having, having the, the most, most fabulous, fabulous of all parties. parties. And once the effect is done, we can bring the input back down. Or you could head on down to the Shark Tank pub for the... L and then LED club night, we want to have that. LED club night. 
club night. And then back down. Where you can enjoy the light. And bring it back in for light show. Shows, shows colors, colors and, and the special effects, effects while, while dancing to music, music and the winning prizes and then bring that out. shows colors, colors and, and the special effects, effects while dancing to music and we don't want that to go on quite so long the special effects while dancing to music and winning with little faces drawn on your fingers pretending you're having the most fabulous of all parties or you could head on down to the Shark Tank pub for the LED club night, where you can enjoy the light shows, colors, and the special effects while dancing. And if I put that in context by bringing everything out of solo and playing the now automated effect. Things you could be doing Thursday night. Sitting at home with little faces drawn on your fingers, pretending you're having the most fabulous of all parties. I'm not lonely anymore. Or you could head on down to the Shark Tank pub for the LED club night, where you can enjoy the light shows, colors, and the special effects while dancing to music and winning prizes. And as I said, you can automate any part of anything you can think of. How's that for automating various parts of EQ? or automating all the parts of that effect. But if you're going to write in the volume envelope, you can only do that in the mixer with the fader, so you have to use the edit points on every other envelope. There's one more way you could automate this effect, as opposed to drawing in your parameter envelope. You can go to the mixer and adjust this button right here, effects pre-fader or post-fader. That means right now, the effect goes into the fader and is controlled by it. If we go post fader, that means the effect comes in after the fader, so the effect is only really controlling the input volume. So then you can set it to post fader, right in your automation for volume, and that will control your effect where you want it to come in at the same time. But if you want to automate your mix, you can do it in audition.